Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Yolan Monique and I am here to do a review slash showing you guys of the Sephora Ultimate Play. Sephora has sent out an email to everyone who's in VIBs and uh, beauty influencer. That's it. And they were announcing their Sephora Play Ultimate Box. I don't know if this is their way of trying to get to see if people are interested in it, but this box is $20 compared to the normal Sephora Play box, which is $12. The advertisement stated that you would get all high-end products compared to Sephora Play, which usually I get at least one Sephora product in it. So I went on and paid the $20, and I want, I've already looked at it, but I want to see if you guys think that this is worth $20 um, considering that the catch is that you're going to get all high-end products. Um, so let's go through this and I'll, let me know what you think and I'll let you know what I think at the end. So the box is different and this is all black. My other boxes have always been white. And inside of it, they normally have the play information here, but here you just get the little card. I will tell you when I first opened this, whoever packaged it didn't take care in it because it was halfway here and it was bended. So it took me a day to unbend this which is the information card. This is very different from the normal plays. Here it's in like playing card style and I do like it and I don't know if you can see the holographic but that's that's really cool. It's called the All-Star Edition so and then you see the holographic bag which is really nice. So the one thing I do like about this is on the cards it gives you I'm probably going to give you a sneak peek of what's inside of it. It gives you like little cards and it shows you the product. And then on the back is the information. And then of course they show you everything that you're going to get inside of this box. So when you first open it, the first thing that I pull out is Flower Bomb. And I'm going to show you the size comparison of the Ulta All Stars versus their normal Sephora Play. This is the Flower Bomb from the All Stars. And this is the exact same perfume, which I've gotten in another Sephora um, Play box. And you can see the height difference. See how this one's the actual liquid actually would have stopped right here. And you can see I'm still getting the full size here on this one. The sizes are different. The circles are, are a lot, it's a lot bigger versus here it's a lot skinnier. So you're getting a little bit more perfume. And I like the fact that it was wrapped inside of its own separate container. Some of mine do have a separate container, some of them don't. But that's one of the differences between it. And then the next item I pull out is from SK2. I've never actually used it. I'm going to get the cards. Okay, this is the card on it. And let me see. It's a facial treatment essence, an elixir uh, to treat for moisturizing, support skin cell renewal, used twice a day after cleansing. So that's interesting. Let's see what's actually inside. That's pretty much it. It doesn't give you any, um, oh, instructions are inside right here. After toning, pour appropriate amount, slightly smaller than the cap of the essence in a cotton pad and gently apply to face and neck. So this is it. I'll have to do a little more research on it. It doesn't tell you what the full size would be if you got it. The difference is that this one you don't get as a four play card, which is worth 50 points. I didn't see any play cards in this one. So um, normally the play card would actually tell you the full price. So I'm going to have to go online and look at the full price for this. But this is what it looks like. It's pretty cute. It's 0.3 fluid ounces. So this will probably give me enough for three, maybe four days. But it's a skincare. The next item inside is Dior Mascara. And I've actually used the, the Dior Mascara before. I like it. I'm not going to open this one because I'm still using another mascara. But I will show you what the container looks like. Dior Show right here. And this is actually a lot bigger than the normal one that I would get in the Sephora Play. So it looks like they're giving you deluxe sizes when I actually compare them. And if you hold on, I actually have a sample size mascara from my other play. Okay, I'm back. This is the Dior mascara from the All Stars and this is from my last Sephora box. So you can see the sizes are very different. So they definitely give you a deluxe size. Looks like that might be the trend, giving you deluxe size on some items. Then the next item that I pull out of here is the Hourglass Veil. This is definitely smaller than the one that I got from Sephora the last time. This is the Hourglass Veil. I've actually gotten this in another play box, except the other one was slightly bigger. 
So I've used this before. I liked it. It wasn't like, didn't blow me away. But the difference is that this has a spatula and the other one it actually had a little pump. This may have a little bit more. I think the other one was taller but thinner. And that's why they gave you a pump and this one looks a little bit thicker. But it's the Hourglass Veil and this is a primer. It has SPF 15. So it's a mineral based primer. I actually, I think I liked it. I just, for my oily skin it was not something that I felt like I could use continuously because I felt like it didn't completely mattify me but it's a nice size it's I, I truly believe that it might be smaller than the last one that I got but so far I feel like I'm just getting repeats except for that uh, SK2 I've gotten all the other things in my regular Sephora play box this I've never gotten <laughs> this is Tom Ford and look how small that is I'm going to compare it to the last lipstick I got from Sephora and then we can but I love the packaging. This is really cute. I wish it was a deluxe size. So, and this is the color. I don't want to swatch it because I don't... There's this part of me that wants to keep it just because it's Tom Ford, but I don't know if the color is me. So, Actually, it looks like it's the same color that I have on now. So, this is kind of cute. And then compare this to other sizes that I've gotten this is the Sephora lipstick that I've gotten previously so you see it's about the same size this is from my Sephora box that I got too and this is the Urban Decay 69 lipstick when they were launching those out and then this was from Epsi when I got Epsi you can see the difference between Epsi and this is a Tarte lipstick so it's about the same size lipstick you would get if you had the regular Sephora play box. And then the last thing in here is for a more Pacifica. I've never heard of them, but that doesn't mean a lot because I am just now getting into a lot of the brands that are at Sephora. A more Pacifica is a moisture rejuvenating cream used daily to address first signs of aging. So let's open this up. It's an interesting container. Okay, this is really interesting because you see the top with the mirror. And so you're like, how do you get this in here? But it actually twists from the bottom to reveal the product. So that's interesting. I actually like the mirror part, but I would use this for, if I use this up, I would save this for my travel makeup so I could carry this. Um, how much is in here? Because if this is for, it's 0.27 fluid ounces, 8 milliliters. That's not a lot. So here is that. And again, it's just anti-aging cream to moisturize for anti-aging. It doesn't say whether it goes on the eyes or the whole face. Let me read the box. It just says, apply morning and evening to the face and neck after moisturizing. Reduces the signs of aging. So I'll definitely have to look up these different products if they were full size and let you know the question is do i feel like this all stars box that has all of these products at twenty dollars is worth the twenty dollar price tag or should you just wait and get your sephora play box and possibly get these again again i three items i've never gotten in my play box and i've had sephora play for about a year now so i never had a tom ford i've never heard of a more pacifica never received anything from them so obviously I've never heard of them. SK2 I've heard of them I've never received anything from them so the products that I've gotten before in my plate are the Hourglass Veil I've gotten this, the Dior Show I've gotten this and Vic Flower Bomb. Um, I personally don't think that it's worth the $20 price tag yes three items two items are deluxe size samples um, this I feel like it, if it is a deluxe size sample it's a small deluxe size sample and I'm just not overly impressed the fact that I paid $20 and I feel like I just got the same thing that a regular Sephora play is it's just I didn't get anything from Sephora in it 
Let me know what you guys think. Do you think that the Sephora Play All Stars box is worth the $20 price tag if they decided to start offering this as another option with, you know, like a second tier to the Sephora Play? Would you subscribe to it? Would you purchase a $20 box knowing you're not going to get a Sephora item, but you're going to get all high-end items? Um, I'm curious to see what you guys think. Thank you again for watching my video. Know that you're blessed and love, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.